You've probably been wondering why your yeast doesn't form like this. Let me show you some of the main reasons why your active dry yeast fails to activate properly. First, always store your active dry yeast in the refrigerator. Leaving it on the shelf or in a warm area can weaken it over time. Once it's exposed to heat or moisture, it starts to lose its power, and that's why it won't foam the way it should. Second, you need a thermometer. Dipping your finger in the water is not enough. It might feel warm to you, but that doesn't mean it's the right temperature. Your water should be between 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Warm, not hot. Anything above 120 can kill your yeast instantly. So invest in a thermometer. It's affordable and gives you accuracy every single time. Third, sugar is optional, but it helps a lot. A small amount of sugar gives the yeast something to feed on, helping it activate faster. Within five minutes, you should start seeing bubbles and foam form on top. That's how you know your yeast is alive and ready. So here's the takeaway. Stop relying on your fingers to test the water if you're not a professional. Use a thermometer, keep your yeast refrigerated, and you'll never have activation problems again. Try these tips and let me know if they work for you. Remember to share this video to help someone else who might be struggling with their yeast too.